for breakfast this morning. I just made some scrambled eggs and I'm going to add some franks in there. And then I'm also eating one of these um, cookies I made. I actually used the Kodiak cake mix to make these um, and they're oatmeal chocolate chip and um, I probably wouldn't make them again but they're they're all right but they're just they're not like to die for so um, yeah that's what that is and this is gonna be yummy hey everybody so I just finished doing my makeup and showering so I feel like a real human again um, and I'm just gonna make myself a smoothie and then I'm gonna show you how I um, style my naturally curly hair okay so this has been my routine lately I have a hard time with my hair because um, it never turns out the same as most people with curly hair know but my hair is very very thick and tangly so lately I've been using this Gliss hair repair um, by Schwar Schwarzkopf. <laughs> um, it's not, I don't know, like I'm just trying to use it. I got it a long time ago, so it's almost done and I'm just trying to use it up. It's not as good as um, another one I had that I really can't remember now, but I remember I really liked it. Um, but it does the trick and the real trick here, the real MVP is this wet brush that I got. Like I just wanted to see what the hype was about. And this is literally the only brush that I can get through my hair. Like, every other brush just rips it out. Like, it's so tangly. Um, anytime I go to get my hair done, the hairdresser is always like, what? Like, how do you deal with this? I'm like, I know. It's, like, really bad. But this brush is a miracle worker. So, I got one for my mom because she has similar hair, like, in the knotty, knotted way. Um, so yeah, I definitely brush out my curls beforehand because I've tried to not do it. Like, tried to see, I've experimented a lot, but I've tried to see what happens if I don't brush them out. And it just created, like, all those knots were still there. So it's really important for me to get the knots out of my hair or else they'll stay in there. And yeah, so this is the first step. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. I have a whole bunch right here on the floor. I've tried a lot. A lot of them is just a waste of money. They don't work. They're horrible. Um, and so I found this one I really, really like. It's the Tresemme Between Washes. And it's a Curl Revive Styling Foam. Hydrates, refreshes, and defines. And it's supposed to be for like next day curls, I think. <clears throat> but I use it for like wet hair. I love this stuff. This My hair has never looked better. So I just take so I just take a pump of that in my hand and then just like work it through my hair. I'm still kind of experimenting, so I do something different like every day. Like I don't always flip my head over. Um and I put it up to the root just to get some volume up there because curly hair of mine looks way better with volume. Um, and as you can see, for, I got this in the States, um, and I got it for $2.50, um, on, like, the clearance rack, so that was a really good deal, so I was like, oh, $2.50, might as well try it, but I'm so happy I did because I love this stuff, and then I just let it air dry, and I've always wanted to try a diffuser, but I don't have one, so I haven't yet, but I can imagine that that would probably help a lot, but... There's something about letting your hair hair air dry that I really do like too. You just feel so clean and fresh. So I'll just keep like scrunching it and making sure that everywhere is good. And then I, I also sometimes will put it all in a braid just to like keep it more tamed down. But today I think I'm just going to let it air dry. And that's how I've been doing my natural hair lately. And you'll see it later when it's dry. But as you can tell, it's like pretty curly. So I, yeah, I've been just experimenting. I've been trying to figure out my whole life how to deal with my hair. Um, but I'm getting there. It only took 25 years.
So for my first snack of the day, I'm just drinking this blueberry smoothie. It's just blueberries, um, frozen blueberries, spinach, just to get some greens in, and this Vega vanilla protein powder from Costco. I like getting the big one from Costco because it lasts a really long time, and protein powder can be kind of expensive, so um, it makes me feel like I'm getting more bang for my buck. Um, but yeah, so that would be my first or yeah, my first snack of the day, and I haven't decided what I'm gonna have for lunch yet, but I will let you know. Good oh boy. Okay, for lunch, I just wanted something simple and low carb, so I have just a bag sa uh, salad, yeah, bag salad with some tuna and half an avocado and also this sweet and spicy mustard, um, and so just like made a tuna salad and I'm watching Tiger King shamelessly because, you know, nothing better to do. <laughs> and I'm pretty invested in the story at this point, so yeah, just gonna have some lunch and watch some Tiger King. Okay, so supper tonight is a fajita salad. Um, so I just have like chicken, um, pe frozen peppers, which I find the frozen peppers work the best. Um, this fajita mix from uh, Walmart. I have some bagged salad here, a quarter of an avocado, cheese and salsa and um, Greek yogurt. So this looks bomb. I'm probably going to add some franks on it. Okay, so my tip for those of you who have husbands or boyfriends or children who don't want to eat lighter like that, like they wouldn't want the fajita salad, that's why I make things like fajitas, tacos, um, like pulled pork, like so I make the meat that normally would be eaten on a sandwich or like a wrap, like Derek eats these wraps and he'll eat two of these giant wraps with like cheese and mayo and he goes to town, but like then I make the meat and then I can make the meat into whatever I want. So a salad, I do have some corn wraps, some little corn wraps that I will use occasionally, but I already had a lot of carbs today. Um, so I don't want to have carb more carbs for dinner. So that's just my tip, like make the meat portion, then you can make it into whatever you want and then they are happy too. Um, or you can make like chicken burgers and then make a chicken burger salad kind of. I just like to have a lighter dinner um, most days. Some days I do like pasta and stuff, but most days I like a lighter dinner so make your meat portion make it into whatever you want and then also keep in mind like your husband and like the ones who are going to want to eat the the carb portion so that's just what I do and it works really well at our house so there's a little tip for you and I think I'm going to end um, the vlog here so thanks for watching my what I eat in a day and kind of following me around today and um, I will see you soon please subscribe